My husband and I have five kids and our two youngest are autistic. And this summer we're visiting grandma's house. Going to grandma's house is a big drive. And while we're there, I just don't want anyone to get lost or anyone to break anything. Only after minutes of being there, I realized that I don't know where Ezra is. So I search the house and I find him in a very unexpected place. He's in the front room listening and watching the birds. Which is not only endearing, but makes me realize he notices details. I bet he notices a lot more than he lets on and that we realize. Doesn't Summer just want to make you relax and sit back in a camping chair with your sippy cup? The family reunion starts. Everyone starts coming and Simon already gets a little sad. Don't you want to go on the slide? He said he wanted to go on the water. Yeah, let's go. On the slide. Are you scared? Here, hold my hand. Yeah, I try to introduce him to the water and let him play with my hair since that does calm him, but he's not interested. We'll have to try again. Now Ezra does something really strange, something he's never done before. He starts taking certain people from the family and dragging them to the corner of the house. <laughs> now, not everyone, just certain people like his uncle, his brother, and his dad. And don't forget grandma. <laughs> Okay, is this good? If you have any idea why Israel would do this, please put in the comments. Oh, right here, okay. Now I have my guesses. Ezra doesn't like crowds, but he does like certain people in his family, especially Betson. When we lived in an RV and we were traveling to all the national parks, we went on a lot of family hikes. And almost every time, without fail, Ezra would insist on holding Benson's hand. We still have a lot of video to get out and we post daily, so please consider subscribing. Meanwhile, Simon's watching all of his other cousins play in the water. Simon, you wanna play in the water? I can tell he's thinking about it. Okay, never mind. But you gotta love a pinata. Now notice what's in Ezra's hands. He loves these swirly straws so much, he wants to carry them around, and he literally went to every single cup, every single cousin, aunt and uncle, and grandparents, and took their swirly straws. I didn't know this was happening. If I had been aware, I would have stopped him, but I didn't realize until it was too late and he was holding all the straws. People were very nice and let him steal the straws, <sighs> which he decided were imperatively his. Good job. He totally looked at Adam like, oh God, Am I done that. now? Hit it hard. Stand up. Hey, where'd Ezra go? So Ezra's finally jumping in the water now that the kids are gone and not around. Good job. Should we put him right there? There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Woohoo! We take some pictures and video with the drone, and Simon is enthralled by the drone. Do you see that? Oh my 
And then we get some unexpected visitors. Who is that? What's that? Who's that? What's that? The presence of the dinosaur and the big pink bunny obviously bug Simon. I just give him some space and some time. What do you think, Simon? Is that a little dinosaur? Yeah. Do you want to go pet the dinosaur? No, 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 no. Oh, that's a nice dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See the nice dinosaur? We should go say hi to the dinosaur. What's that? What's that? What's that? It's a dinosaur. I'll get a picture with the dinosaur. <laughs> and soon he notices that Ezra is having fun with the dinosaurs. So he warms up to him. Pet the dinosaur? Yeah? You want to pet the dinosaur? Can we say cheese together? <laughs> That's so cute. That's cute. I don't know what it is about this corner of the house. Maybe someone can tell us. But Ezra is just obsessed with this corner. Like he likes to look at it and get it get different angles of it. Yucky. What do you think? Is that your special corner? What you doing, Ezra? Got all your treasures over here. Taking a little break from all the people. Got your straws and your cars. Oh, he saw that sticker that he wants to get, too. Oh, do you want to take this off? Come here, some gifts. Good job. Ooh. That's all she's got right now. <laughs> yeah, because I like the settings. Yeah, I like that you can change the settings so the fastest this can go is that amount, so you can't just, like, take it off. Ezra, don't be soft. Do you want to ride? Do you want to ride? Do you want to ride? Yeah? Okay, let's ride. Here. Okay, here we go. She's getting Put your feet on. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those rocks you painted them. Yeah. So pretty. Good job. And then we can't find Ezra. And then we find him clear on the other side of the fence in the field. Ezra. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ezra. No, you're, don't go back. Come here. You're barefoot. Like, he has a high pain tolerance. Okay, let's go. Ezra, come here. Good listening. Good listening. It's been a fun family reunion. A pinata, a water slide, and even a surprise dinosaur. And now it's time to go to bed. Bye. He literally said bye. <laughs> like, go back. If you're wondering why mommy, daddy, Ezra, and Simon are sleeping in a tent, here's a video to explain why. 
If you haven't seen Simon's first day of autism preschool, you can check that out here. And our autism playlist is here. Remember, if you have an autistic child, you're in good company.